All right, what's up guys? We're back with another video and uh, this is just gonna be a quick unboxing on some new parts I got for the CB7 um, K-Swap build, however you wanna look at it. Technically, this is just gonna be for the K-Swap, a part of the um, engine transmission. And then I got some, a couple things for the Civic as well. We're doing an auto to manual swap on that. It's an EG Coupe uh, 95, I believe. So um, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up soon. Um, I'm gonna try to get that all done within like a week or a weekend. But um, like I said, we got some K-Swap parts here. So I wanna show you uh, this. Start off with this um, from K-Tune. Nice and pretty. We got the uh, manifold adapter. You need this if you're eliminating the coolant um, running through the intake manifold. Comes with um, comes with some hardware as well. And this can either bolt right on and you use some um, silicone, some Honda Bond, or you can um, use a gasket, but you got a drilling tap, uh, the head and this. Um, but you definitely need this um, if you're going with a K20 intake manifold um, on the K24. So I got that, and um, I want I want to show you guys this right here. It's actually already out the box, but I'll show you this what it is. And this is for all my um, nice little box of. This is for all my guys that have engines on engine stands for long periods of time. It is just intake and exhaust uh, manifold covers. And I'll either throw that in right here or um, I'll show you afterwards. I'll show you now. But um, all that is is covers to keep all the dirt and debris out of your intake and exhaust ports while you have your engine on an engine stand. All right, so over here is where I'll show you the um, intake and exhaust covers. Got the engine covered up right now. I don't know if I showed you guys this lately, but I've been working on it, man. Check her out. I've been working on it. Got her painted. Um, but yeah, it's come to. This is the intake side, of course. Just nice little plates. Cover the um, intake. Same thing on the exhaust side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to squeeze over there, but... Same thing on his all side. Let's see if I can move this thing. Ooh, just a little bit so I can show you. Same thing on the exhaust side. Just the covers to keep it clean until I put the header and the intake manifold on. So yeah. Nice product. I, I believe it was um hundred bucks um, from Tri-State Motorsports. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this back up. But yeah, that's it, that's the engine. Right now, ready for the intake manifold. I got the header over here on the shelf. So it's gonna be looking like a full engine here soon. So we got that, but we got that installed already. We'll sit that to the back. Um, just got some bushings for the EG Civic. Uh, just uh, getting all my manual, manual swap parts um, ordered so I can do everything at one time. So just some red polyurethane bushings. You already know what these look like. They usually give you both bushings and the lubricant. So I got that. I think all I need left for the um, all I need left for the EG Coupe to be able to swap it is the clutch kit and the um, I have I have the slave and the master cylinder, but I'll probably get a new one. But really, I just need the clutch line at least. So I just need the clutch kit and the clutch line. Then we'll be ready to go on that. Let me know if you want to see that or if you're excited for that build. The K swap is technically going in the CB7. So, um, yeah, we'll fit, throw these back in. And now for the uh, star of the night. This is not unboxed yet. Um, so, we'll get this unboxed. 
take this address off real quick, just in case. Struggle is real. These are like small staples. I'm not trying to cut myself either. Oh. I think this was repackaged. But there she is in all her glory. Damn, came with a gasket too. Sweet. I was thinking I was gonna have to buy a gasket. But here she goes. And I'll get you a close up in a second. Damn, it's a nice color, man. It's not like the um it's not like the regular gray. It's like a wrinkle, wrinkle gray finish. So that like I said, came with a gasket, the skunk two sticker. Um, I don't know what these bolts are for. We'll figure that out. Let me know if you know what this is. Let me show you. Two bolts and I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like dials or something or spacers. But we'll figure it out. Yeah, man, this thing is nice though. Port's pretty clean. Like I said, I'll show you guys in a second, but I'm sure you can see it from there. Nice, man. Damn, I really like that. I will not wrinkle black this. I don't think so. It's pre-cut, because this is a K20, K20 version. So I won't have to do any cutting or anything. But yeah, man, damn, that's clean. I might relocate this vacuum line to the back. But um, man, nice, 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 nice. But yeah. all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's it for right now. Got some more stuff for the build. Very happy about it. Uh, swap is almost complete. Um, what else would I need? Just accessories at this point. Um, I still need the coolant, the upper coolant housing, the one that goes on the side of the K24 head. I need the recirculation hose that goes to the adapter um, and like minor things like that. So we're going to keep on plugging away, plugging away, plugging away till we get this thing done. All right, man. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.